please welcome Leslie Holmes to tell the story of our last song on the program. And thank you for coming to share music with us today. And as you probably know, if you've looked at your program, the last song is America the Beautiful. Catherine Lee Bates, a 33-year-old teacher of English literature at Wellesley College, traveled to Colorado Springs during the summer of 1893 to teach a short summer school session at Colorado College. Along the way, she saw the wheat lands of Kansas by an alabaster waves of grain, the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago with its white buildings, thine alabaster city's gleam, and the majestic view of the Great Plains from atop Pike's Peak for Purple Mountain Majesties. It was on the summit of Pike's Peak that the first line of the poem came to her, O oh, beautiful for spacious skies. Over the next two years, as she thought about the wonders she had seen across the country, the entire po poem wrote itself. In 1904, it was first published in the Congregationalist to commemorate the 4th of July in 1895. Many tunes have been written for these words, at least 75 by 1900. The one that has lasted is by Samuel A. Ward, organist and choir master at Grace Church, Newark, New Jersey, which I visited frequently with our church youth group, Small World. In 1882, Ward was inspired to write the tune while riding a ferry boat to his home in New York after a special day at Coney Island with family and friends. He was so excited about the poem he was writing that he asked a fellow passenger friend, Harry Martin, to write it down on the cuff of his shirt. It became a hymn, Materna, for Mr. Ward's church. Ward died in 1903, before his tune was permanently paired with Bates' words in 1910. Catherine Lee Bates lived until 1929 and knew the fame that her words and Ward's music achieved. The two never met. Bates' belief in God and the brotherhood of mankind is everywhere in America the Beautiful. When I lead this at Wellesley College, they make me say sisterhood. Many would like it to be our national anthem Bates School is named for Catherine Lee Bates. The sixth grade chorus, Lauren Connors, director, will sing the first verse for us now. Please join us as we all repeat the third singing of the last words of this beautiful and meaningful song. I will cue you to stand. 